Hey everyone, Jason Hill here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make this viral tuna cotto sandwich recipe right in your home. So good. Okay, to get started, I'm gonna make a tuna salad so we can make a spicy tuna cotto sandwich. I also have lemon here, or you can just use plain, but I recommend a premium tuna. We brought this back from Italy, and you can find this brand online. All right, at the restaurant, Joe and the Juice, they call it a salmon mousse. And that means, you know, if you wanted to puree this up and make it into a mousse, you could. But I'm just going to add a little mayo to my liking and start by just giving a good mash with a fork. Add more mayo as needed. And if you don't have a spicy tuna, you can add Tabasco to make it spicy if you like. Okay, it's time to grill our bread. I have flat bread here that I'm going to use, but if you want something that's 100% whole wheat, these little sandwich thins work just as good. All right, I have my little La Crusade grill going. I don't have a panini machine, I can't afford one, so this will have to work. I'm gonna put it in here at diagonally so we can get the crisscross grill marks on our bread. It's on medium low, cast iron cooks so even. After two minutes, I'm gonna pick it up, put it back on this angle to get those crisscross marks. After another two minutes, we're going to give it a flip. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The bread is off the grill. Now we're going to drizzle some fresh homemade pesto. And if you want my recipe for this, it is in the description. The link is in the description. Just drizzle on there as best you can. Now we're going to add fresh sliced avocado. Get about four to five slices on there. Okay, now let's do the tuna. A couple of good scoops. And then we're just going to mash that onto the bread. Try and get up to the, all the way to the edge of each side here. And just for my own little take, I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of capers in there. Can't go wrong with tuna and capers. All right, fair enough. Now we have our half moon sliced heirloom tomatoes. Get four on there. Okay, let's fold it over. There you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed this easy, quick recipe. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we make a new video. Another bite. Mm. Such a good, easy, tasty recipe.